Hello. Once again, this is Jeff Robertson with Penton Audio USA and Atis Electronics. This is a quick tutorial video on how to set up a URC or Universal Remote Control device within your design and configure it and map it to the different elements and sub presets within your design. Our URC stands for Universal Remote Control and it is an RS-485 uh, intelligent control. It wires with a standard 4 pair CAT5, CAT5E or CAT6 cable and it gets its RS-485 data and its 24 volt DC uh, power right from the back of the UAP or any of the other DSPs within the Atis Electronics Penton Audio family. So anyway, let's get started. First of all, I got me a design right down here at the bottom, just a little demo design. Um, as you can see, I'm just doing some room combining, multi-source switching, everything going to uh, eight different outputs. The first thing you want to do is, in any design, whether it's a brand new design or you're working with an existing design, is you go to your system tab up here in the left, which brings up your audio processors and your remotes. All right. For the remotes, we only have two choices with the UAP. We've got the PPM paging microphone stations, which are also a 485 device, and there's a separate tutorial video coming for that, and the URC for the universal remote control. As you notice here on the side of your, what we call the, the actual system block, and this is why I could have up to 12 UAPs in a single system, and each one would have its own name and will be here connected up. But I've got A1 through 4, and I've got C1 through 4. These are actually my input slots with the four channels of audio inputs on each card. We got one card input card on the A slot and one input card on the C slot. And numbers one through four correspond with the input channel. These are shown because with the PPM microphone, you actually have to show which physical audio input that you're wiring the microphone audio to. So you can map it and route it within your design. But we're only concerned with the communications port, which stands for the RS-45 communications. The URC, we just drag in, and you notice no matter where I put it anywhere on here, it already highlights the C port. I, there's no audio associated with it, so I don't even get an option here. So I just drag it, let go of it, and there you go. It automatically connects it to the communications port. I could drag more URCs into the design, and it was just daisy chain them, but it's just showing them linked to the system. So I will highlight these because I only have one connected to my demo here. And we have one. I can double click on it. It brings up all my different ones, but as you can see, I don't see one here. I can't get to it. I can't do anything. Um, even when I search for it, you know, I don't see it here. So what we need to do is we need to actually connect this software wise to the system. So I link it to which box it's physically connected. Cause like I said, you can have 12 boxes. So I got to tell it, Hey, there's a URC out there. Let's go find its serial number and let's connect you up. One quick note. Every single RS-485 device that, that works with all our DSPs will have a serial number. It will be on a sticker on the bottom or the back side um, of the device. This serial number, you do not have to memorize it, so you have to enter it in anywhere. All you have to know is when it searches for it and it finds it, you know which serial numbers are in which locations, so you can customize the label so you know exactly which one you're talking about. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is go search for all the remotes that are in the system and link them up to the box software-wise. So the only way I can do that is to actually be connected to the system. So I'm going to establish my Ethernet link. I'm going to do my quick search, which I do. Even if I know all my connections are right, I still do a quick search to make sure it finds the machine I want to talk to. All right. There's our machine. Highlight it. Say connect. And we're all connected up. Everything's fine. And we should be good to go. Now I'm talking. So first thing I want to do, go to view, and let's go to remote list. Now from the remote list, I can search for PPMs or URCs. I'm searching for URCs. We are going to do a search. It pulls up my internal search window, and I say search. And now it's going out looking for all the remote devices going on the 485 loop on the back of the machine. And it's found my number. And it's serial, serial number 02364, which I know indeed is, is a serial number on that one. We know we have found that one. I will go up here, my URC. I click on serial number, the down limit, and all my serial devices I would have, I could have multiple ones will be listed here. And I just click on that one. Hit apply. And OK. Now that I have this machine, here's where I can give it its name. I pull up on that one that I want, and let's just say demo. Here is our parameters list or we actually build a table just say for this one URC I want to control 
uh, one of the output blocks, and I want to switch between the two sub presets that I know this happens to be in this design. As you can see up here, I've got an all mute and a normal. Global Parameters is doing master presets, which I don't want to do any master design presets with this. But these are basically all the options that are going to be shown up in the window of the URC. I'm going to click on sub preset, and we're going to add. So I got one, two, three, four volume controls that I know I want to put in, and we'll do two sub presets. The first thing we're going to have here is the first one. I'm going to say normal preset. All right, and the next one we're going to say mute preset and we'll just say I know these are on my uh, D level control so I'll just say D1 level and this will be like say D2 level and this will be D3 level and we'll make this one our D4 level control now the preset we got control types there's only two different ones sub preset or element control Element control is any fade or knob or any kind of leveling or, or control you're doing within your system or switches. These first two are sub presets. Normal. And this one will be muted. All right. There we go. And these are element controls. Now, since the sub presets are already assigned in my system, I can go up here to the assign block and, and choose which one I want. And as you can see, this is my normal. So I want to assign it to that. And we'll say OK. This one we want to assign to that one. There we go. All ready to go. Now, with my element controls, there is nothing in here. And you see that? It's because I have not assigned any of my element controls to a URC, just like you'd have to assign them to an analog control if you want it. Let's go ahead and do that now. So I will close this for now, go into my design. Here's my output D block, and I want to go ahead and, and assign these four outputs, these zones, wherever they would be, to the URC for control. So I will pump this up, and here are my level controls right here. I will right-click on this, go down. You see there's a URC option. This is the unit it's physically connected to. There's the name I gave this URC, and I'll say D1 level. There you go. I will go to this one and do the same for D2. Uh, we'll go down to URC, we'll do the same and make this D3, and we'll go down this one, we'll make it D4. There you go. Now I've, I've mapped all four of these to the URC. Now if we want to go back and just double check, because once it's mapped, it's already there. I will go to this, open this up. We will go to the subset parameters, and I will go to assign, and as you can see, it's already assigned to... Output D and input number or node number one on output D, which is fine. So level control. So now there's a couple of things I need to know. Just like when you're doing the front panel knobs or any other analog control, you can also scale and set up the type of controls and the scalability of it. And this is no different. So the one thing I want to do here is um, do we want to do linear? If we do linear, then we can actually control the steps that every time we hit the button, it will actually go up whatever the steps we say here in DB, in which I could choose my, my units here. So let's just say I want to go up to, I'll just change this to 3.0. So now every time I hit the button on the URC, it's going to go up 3 dB. Also, what's our minimum and maximum? The maximum 20 could be fine, but minimum never 60, just like scaling the knobs is kind of useless. So let's make this negative, uh, let's say 20, all right? So there we go. So now we've got that set up as a linear control. Let's close that. Let's go to the next one. And let's make this one a linear control as well. And we'll, we'll say 3 dB steps, negative 20 travel. Um, I want my units to be in dB. And good for there. Now let's set these other two just a little differently so I can show you how they act differently. Uh, let's make this a logarithmic control and we still give it a scale because we want to know what the minimum maximum they can do but as you notice when I do logarithmic control there is no steps in here the reason is as I turn the central data knob up or down it's actually going to go logarithmic turning it up or turning it down just like you would do a front panel knob instead of me hitting a button to do the steps or every click of it being 3 dB steps I'm actually saying we're going to treat it almost like an analog pot. And yeah, I can still do DB because that's just for my referencing right here. 
and let's do the next one here we will make this a logarithmic travel and we'll say negative 20 on that one okay now we've got all that done all my stuff these are everything I want on there so I will close that and as always we compile it and we say okay and we store the design into the machine and I've got a login here admin no password that's the default all right and yes I'll go ahead and enable audio and you can see also it's found the URC and it's updated in the URC and everything is fine on the URC so we have no conflicts there if we had a problem with you putting a URC in your design it would give you an error message here but would ask you do you want to continue because we can assume that sometimes you're doing a design and the URCs aren't installed yet but it does give you an error but it will not fault your, your store you just got to remember to go store it later so it does go and do, do, does the read to the URC all right so just for fun I am going to leave my my cursor right there and I've got my URC right here so I am pressing the button on my URC and I see my normal and muted are my first two options and as I scroll down the data wheel I've got D1 level, D2 level, D3 level, D4 level. I am going to go to my normal and I'm just going to push the button, the center button, which should switch this to the next sub uh, preset. So let's go and do that. And there we go. And I just clicked it normal. And I'm just going to take my thing and say, okay, here it would disappear after a while. I'm going back in, I'm going to mute it. And let me go ahead and hit my muted. And we'll say all mute. And there we go. See, it's changed sub preset, all mute successful. Now, this is my D module I will leave my cursor right there I'm going to my remote and I'm just clicking on it I'm going to D1 level and I click on it and now I'm going up and remember this is the one where I said linear it says 9 and if you look right here you can actually follow this so every time I click it up it's going to go up 3 dB I'm going to do um, one more on this there's one and we'll do another there's 18 I'll do another Oh, that's as high because remember I said 20 is the highest one. There you go. I just backed it up and then went up again. If I start going down, it goes to 17, 14, 11, 8, 5, 2, negative 4, all the way down. And I turned it all the way down to negative 20. So that's the lowest that I set it. Let me go out and let's go look at, let's do D3 here. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to jog down to the D3 level. Enter that. Now these are logarithmic. So now as I go up, see it's like 3.9, 7.2, 9.8, 12.6. It's going in a logarithmic fashion. It still will not go any higher. Actually logarithmic 19.8 as high as I can go. I'm turning it all the way down here. And I go down to negative 20. But you can see the difference in the travel. It's actually logarithmic. 3.9, 7.2, 9.8, 12.6, not the 3 dB steps. That is how you set up your URC within your design and actually map it to either an element control or a sub preset control. So if you have any questions whatsoever, please make sure you go to our website at penton-usa.com. And as always, thank you very much and have a terrific day.